I've been meaning to get a video made of this guy for a while now and I just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because I didn't really want to take it down off the shelf and getting cleaned up. But I did and here it is. This is a quarter scale model of an 1880s bobsled. It was made by my father. He made several models in his day, most of which are uh, over at the Harold LeMay Car Museum. This one, however, I found it, and I know it's one of my dad's because we used to play on it when we were kids. I would sit in here <clears throat> when I was three or four years old. My brother, grab onto the tongue, and pull me through the snow. And from what I remember, it was a really good time. I found this guy a couple of years ago, along with one of my dad's steel sculptures, which my sister has, of Santa Claus. I found this guy sitting in a pawn shop out here in Tacoma and finagled with the owner of the pawn shop of course I have no idea how it got there but and uh, we agreed on a price and seeing as how it was made by my father the price was very reasonable and I picked it up and brought it home and sat here ever since now um, what's cool about this thing is it's completely detailed and I think the only part of it that my dad did not hand fabricate is this lock hasp and these hinges everything else on this he handmade it was the same with all of his models all the way down to the, the rivet by that same string and this string here I don't know where that came from and that's been on there for Hell, I've probably been on there for as long as I've been alive. I mean, the attention to the detail in this thing is just, I mean, it's astounding. And if you look at, if you can find one, a real one, real bobsled sitting in a museum somewhere or something like that, compare it to this, they're identical. The only difference being is this one, as you can see by the soda can, is quarter scale. He made quarter scale Conestoga wagon, Egyptian chariot. Um, his biggest model that my dad ever made was, if you can believe it, a quarter scale Victorian mansion that was 20 feet long it was 10 feet wide and a full story and a half tall. And we carried it around on, a, on an old flatbed trailer to shows and it was pretty cool. Mild flop that one was because everybody thought it was a dollhouse, which of course it wasn't. He made two quarter scale log cabins. One of which I believe was destroyed and the other one is still over at the Harold LeMay car museum. I was there just the other day, in fact. So that's one of my dad's models. I think he made this one back in, oh, I'd say the 1970, 71, 72, somewhere in there probably is when this one was made. You can kind of tell by its age. I mean, it's the bed of the bobsled is not in the best of shape. It's starting to dry up and crack a little bit. But it's held up well throughout the years. Look at that handmade, handmade nut right there. Look at that. It's just fantastic. 
Thought I'd share that with you guys. That's pretty, uh, pretty amazing craftsmanship there. Have a good day.